Hi, I'm Joe with CNJ Goods LA, and I'm joined today by Frankie, Hello. my lovely assistant. And uh, we're going to go over how to tell if something's real leather or not, or if a fiber is real or synthetic. So, uh, we've got a couple of things to check out. So, this one is obviously cloth. What would happen if we did a burn test on this? It would burn. Yes, because I know that this is 100% cotton. <laughs> so we're not going to use that. Now between these two, which one is real leather, which one is fake? Let's burn them. Okay. So this is the fastest and easiest way to check and see if something is real leather or not. Now you could do the first test, which is scratch and sniff. Leather just smells like leather. If you get no smell, generally speaking, it's probably plastic. The other thing you do is look at the reverses pretty obvious right away that this is actually fake because there's a piece of woven fabric glued to the back side. It's almost like felt back here. And this is the natural fiber of the leather. If you're really not sure, because sometimes you can find a couch out in the wild that you've skinned, and you want to know if it's real or not, you do the burn test. Of course, it's a little windy out here. So this is doing a great job of stinking up the place. And if you look, that's melted. That is <laughs> not awesome. You can see it's stretching like it's plastic. Mm -hmm. Now, what happens if you try to light leather? It won't burn as easily. It won't burn at all. Good. Not catching. There you go. It's barely carbon scored. So we actually use this, we use full hides as our tablecloths it shows because they require you to have inflammable tablecloths when we vent. Huh. So that's why we use full hides. Okay, so before we leave, we're gonna do, is it real or is it fake on these two spools of thread? Now this one's wax, this one is not, which will change how they burn a little bit, but you can still tell pretty quickly which one's real and which one's fake. All right, go ahead. So we'll try this one first. Okay, pull one off of that. Okay, so it's still burning a little bit, which is not unusual for a thread to want to burn. But you can see there's a little globule there. I think I caught that or not, in the contrast. There you go. That is plastic. If it balls up like that and it doesn't come off easily, you can sort of feel a weird funkiness to that. That means it's fake. Okay, we'll see the other one. So this one's still trying to burn a little bit, and now it's out. You can actually see on there just a tiny bit, there we go, of ash that held on. And then also, there's no balling that's happening, and it's a natural fiber. So if I pull it like this, the end is nice and smooth. So that's a nice quick test. And here's one more spool. Is it real or is it fake? This is another wax thread. That one's catching quite nicely. Okay, let's see if that ball comes off. Look at that. That is a natural fiber. It's not balling up and staying on you at all. So again, this was real material. All right then, that's the burn test. You can use it to check to see if something's fake or not.